Okay, doing some quick video, why not? Um, I reattached these doors, uh, you know, the hinges, it's pretty simple. And then try to level them and get them close together. It's pretty old, so it's pretty warped in there, but they're on. And they open and close for us and for raccoons. And while I have this on, I'm just gonna show you that I tighten this thing down. So this is on here properly, and it's just a regular door handle you don't have to think about now. I'm going to close it and go back into this room. For some reason I thought the downstairs needed it, and it did some work down there too for your daughter's room to the outside, but this just needed to be sort of pushed back in there with some vigor. And then I took a little picture, but I can show you on this side too, that everything's kind of normal now. So, you know, there's no light coming through in here, so that's all good. And I'll just do a little video for downstairs. Talk to you in just a second. Okay, we're now in your daughter's room. I will put that screen back before I leave this room. This window, I'm not sure why uh, it wasn't closing. It has something to do with the window. The hinge, this thing here, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, if you take the window off of the, the little hinge, there's a little way to push it down. It opens and closes fine. So there's something that has to do with the window. When it gets there, it's not closing right. I stood outside and pushed until I could get it to engage and then locked it. Here, for some reason, I thought there was a problem. There was a problem with this door. And this uh, trim was on the inside of this plate right here. This plate was easily coming off. So there has, should be, this little rubber piece has to actually wrap around. And so I've done that. It should stay there for a while. But uh, the problem is this needs to be shut super tight. And it's, it's doing some pressure on this plate so it's moving it around a little bit and then can come undone but right now it's a very good seal from the inside you have to push the door to lock it this i took pictures of i'll send it to you it's rusted on the inside so it's not it won't rattle around in the wind but you know it's not, it can't be 100 percent secured i'll show you the picture in an email and then i'm going to talk to you about the light downstairs and the doorbell so uh, I, I just changed the bulb on this thing and that's it's working I programmed it for uh, coming on at 6 p.m. and going off at 6 a.m. if you want to change that. This isn't getting any power. Uh, I arced it, you know, with a little thing. It's not sparking or making noise. So I'm going to go downstairs and just see if there's anything obvious that might have been cut with low voltage wire. The alternative is to get a uh, just a cordless, a wireless one, and you can just stick it you know, next to this one until we figure out how to get that repaired and it just plugs in inside. Okay, uh, I will send you an email.